The isotopes have always been a big hit with the fans. Now a fan is hitting the team with a lawsuit over a foul ball. News 13's Jackie Kent is live at the ballpark with that story. Jackie. Dean, the Santa Fe woman who is suing the team says her hand is still in pain three years later. The team's GM won't comment on the lawsuit, but says it's a reminder to fans to pay attention at the game. Here's the 2-2. That's hit high. That's hit deep. No. It was at this Isotopes game in August 2014 that a woman claims she was seriously injured by a foul ball. She's now suing the AAA team. Was her, her hand was in front of her face, so it hit her hand. It, it, she was wearing a ring that was, I think, had to be cut off of her hand. It hit it that hard. The lawsuit filed yesterday says Shirley Sakosha and her husband were sitting somewhere along the third base line which was before the isotopes extended the netting past the dugouts. She was, quote, in the process of putting some pieces of popcorn in her mouth when her hand was violently struck by a ball. She blames the team's negligence in failing to not have protective seating and not warning fans of possible dangers, though the stadium has had signs warning fans about the dangers of flying baseballs for years. The ballpark is very, very safe and, you know, it's, it's, this is no reason for anybody to be alarmed uh, by any stretch. If you've been to a game lately, you know the isotopes extended the netting past the dugouts last year. Not every team did it, not every stadium did it, uh, we did it. Sakosha's lawyer says that's too late for his client. You really can't rely on remedial measures taken after an incident has happened. Isotopes general manager John Traub just wants fans to enjoy the rest of the season. And like I say, and we've always said here since we started, you know, people need to pay attention, and um, and that's. That's why we make the announcements. That's why it's on tickets. That's why it's on signage all around the ballpark. I did ask the coach's lawyer why it took three years to file this lawsuit. He says it's because he's been busy and he wanted to make sure Sakosha was ready to pursue this. Back to you. All right, Jackie, thank you. The isotopes were also sued more than a decade ago after a boy was hit by a home run ball during batting practice. The team settled that for an undisclosed amount. The State Athletic Association is